these things are huge. What do you think they are, like 14 inches long? Hey everybody, Joel Hansen here, and today we're at, I believe it's pronounced Omoid? Anyway, it is a Japanese restaurant specializing in noodles and bowls, or as somebody said, noodles and bros. Uh, so I'm here with my good friend, Mr. Heavy D, also known as Derek Henderson in smaller uh, circles, uh, to do their cat soup challenge. No, not cat soup, <laughs> although that may be interesting in itself. Uh, but this is basically a deep fried pork. I believe it's kind of like a tempura thing with a whack of rice. It's about a five pound challenge. You have 20 minutes to complete it. Uh, if you do not complete it, it is a lot of money. And if you do complete it, you get it for free. And I think you get a t shirt. Uh, here with my good friend, still Mr. Blaine. And we have Mr. Joe. So we're having a lot of fun down here in Vegas. It's absolutely crazy insane. I never knew Vegas was like this. But anyway, let's go on in and get some food. And let's eat some katsu. We officially here have the King Katsu Challenge. We have 20 minutes to complete three massive katsus, which is like a uh, fried pork thingy thing. Then we have a bowl of rice and a nice dish of sauce. Mr. Heavy D, ready to start? I'm ready. All right, so I guess we might as well get started. Let's see the count of five, four, three, Two, on your call, Derek. Oh, one, all right. That was very eventful. <laughs> that was very eventful. You guys have to see how I'm going, I think. Hey, everybody, welcome to today's video where I am so excited to be here eating some katsu. Yes, katsu, K A T S U, katsu. So, what katsu is, is it is essentially like a deep fried meat. Uh, in this kind of Japanese style, they do it in a tempura batter. Um, this was pork katsu. I guess chicken katsu is very, very common. I know a lot of people would say like, oh, well, this is similar to like a deep fried pork steak or some other kind of item. Um, kind of, there are definitely some comparable, more Americanized items and really items in a whole bunch of different cuisines. But anyway, katsu. Um, so it was really delicious, really enjoyed it. In that little tempura batter, it made it super duper crispy. And as you saw, it was nice and thin. So everything was just like a big crispy piece of meat, um, which was absolutely delicious actually. We had this little dish of red sauce, which I don't think was actually part of the challenge or like you didn't have to complete it. Um, and then of course the dish of rice, overall about five pounds. The real difficulty of this challenge is only a 20 minute time limit. And as I mentioned, that uh, katsu, the, that tempura, is quite crispy. So you have to consider there's a lot of chewing, a lot of crispiness, and all that stuff going on. So admittingly, this was my first time having katsu, or knowingly having katsu. So I really wasn't sure what I was going to actually think of it, or what overall to expect. Um, but I would definitely recommend it. Like, if you ever get the chance to try katsu, definitely it is a go-to. This red sauce is very hot. Like not spicy, but just temperature hot. It's really good though. I would recommend the red sauce. Trying to coach me up over here. If you're not using it. No. <laughs> Yeah. 
So about nine minutes, that race stuck on me. Really delicious challenge, did enjoy it. Katsu was great. Even the rice wasn't bad. It was a very reasonable portion. I like the red sauce as well. Mr. Heavy D is just finishing up here, doing great. So let's shoot on in as he completes the rest of his challenge. I kind of tore my mouth up a bit though. Yeah. Like that very crispy tempura. It was it was very tasty, right? Very uh, well. Oh, sauce and all. There's the man. <laughs> sauce and all. Ten minutes, twenty seconds, Mr. Dare. Was this keto? This was not keto. <laughs> <laughs> My doctor's are so pissed. <laughs> so that everybody, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the challenge. Really great place. So if you're ever in the area, Omoin is definitely a cool place to stop by. Everybody else enjoyed their food here as well. So now we're gonna go see some more in Vegas. It's pretty late, but you know, whatever. When you're in Vegas, right? This is his first time here. He's gonna learn. This is the city that never sleeps. I'm it's not learn. New York. That's right. So that. Mr. Heavy D, thanks for Thank coming you for to the challenge. Me. Pleasure as always. And until next time, happy eating! And for those wondering, I was asked how do you describe the flavor of the sauce, which we both really, really enjoy. It kind of tastes like thinner ketchup. And I like ketchup. So how can you go wrong? And here's our T-shirts we won. It says King Katsu Challenge. Oh, but oh, 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 mo d. Amoy. Yeah, it's uh, it's only a two XL. Uh, so they're making sure it's big enough. Well, they assume if you beat a fruit challenge, that you probably have some girth. I I think that's what's going on. They're typecasting. Stereotyping. Yeah. And here's a dessert. This is called a some like fried honey bread or fried bread. Honey bread. Honey bread. Apparently it's bread, ice cream, and honey. Imagine that with a self-explanatory name. Derek, are you ready for dessert? I'm ready for dessert. Are you ready for dessert? There's I didn't know I was partaking, but the answer is always yes. Sharing is caring. If someone asks you if you want dessert, the answer is always yes. Amen. Honey, man, honey bread. Good? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna try this. What's it called? Honey toast. Honey toast. Honey toast. And it's literally toast. They're like, you gotta look inside. Because, like, are you literally like, little cute? So. Yeah, so it's literally like <laughs> just a loaf of bread, cubed bread that's toasted. And has ice cream on it, so let's try it. With honey. So you're gonna pick that up. Should I get on in there? Get in there. Alright, here we go. I think this is recording, if not I'm talking to nobody. <laughs> With ice cream and honey on it. Again, if you want, if you want to make this at home. <laughs> yeah, loaf of bread, add honey and ice cream, but toasted first. It's not bad. Thank you.
Thank you, Mr. Heavy D, for sharing your D dessert with me. <laughs> That's us. Point us out there, Derek. That's us. Woo! Two celery. To do their. What the hell's it called? Cat soup. To do their cat soup challenge. No, not cat soup. 20 minutes to complete it. Uh, if you do not complete it, it is a lot of money and. <laughs> Get us good side. Oh, I want something just like this. That's when you accidentally upload them when you're just by you. You don't want to. This hour, so you can finish your presentation.